Reading with Pepper Peacock. We're reading Pepper Peacock Saves the Tree Frogs. Written and illustrated by Sarah Dargan. That's me. You can find the soft cover and the hardback version on Amazon. And at Barnes and Noble. Pepper Peacock Saves the Tree Frogs. Pepper Peacock has lots of beautiful feathers, but is sad because he can't fly far. Pepper Peacock asked Ducky, why can't I fly as far as you can? Ducky answered, you may have lots of beautiful feathers, but your body is big and not meant to travel long distances. Ducky saw the disappointment on Pepper's face and asked, how far can you fly? I'm going to give it my best effort and see how far I can fly. Pepper Peacock took a running leap. Ducky admired Pepper Peacock's feathers as he yelled, Fly, Pepper, fly! Pepper Peacock enjoyed flying over the field, but his long, heavy tail feathers soon started to weigh him down. Ugh, I can barely make it to the pond. Exhausted and out of breath, Pepper Peacock landed next to the pond, thankful for the water. Sip, sip, sip. Pepper Peacock couldn't wait to fly back to Ducky and share how far he had flown. Up, 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 Pepper Peacock flew. As Pepper flew across the field, he spotted a hungry-looking tiger. Yikes! I have to keep flying! Pepper finally made it back to Ducky and was struggling to catch his breath as he exclaimed, There's a scary t -t tiger in the field! Oh no! So glad you made it back safely! How far did you fly? While Pepper was telling Ducky that he made it across the field to the pond, they heard a noise coming from the tree. Pepper, Peacock, and Ducky looked up and saw four tree frogs looking down at them. One, two, three, four. Tree Frogatha said, the pond here has dried up and we need water. One of us only has three legs and can't make it hopping across the big field. Tree Frogatha asked, since your body is big, can you fly the four of us across the field to the pond? Hmm, Pepper Peacock responded in a frightened voice. The ha ha hungry tiger is in the field and with four frogs on my back, it will make it harder to fly. Ducky told Pepper Peacock, I'll fly across the field at the same time and distract the tiger. Hmm, after much thought, Pepper Peacock agreed to fly the four tree frogs to the pond. Hop, 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 hop. Pepper Peacock flapped his big, beautiful feathers and up, up, up he flew. The tiger saw Pepper Peacock flying low to the ground. Oh no, here comes the tiger. Just then, Ducky came flying by Pepper Peacock, just above the tiger's head. Fly, Pepper Peacock, fly. The tiger reached up to grab Ducky as Pepper Peacock flew by. Pepper Peacock and the four frogs were terrified of the tiger. But Pepper Peacock kept flapping his wings as hard as he could. 
Thanks to Ducky, Pepper, Peacock, and the four tree frogs made it safely near the pond. As Pepper, Peacock, and Ducky watched the four tree frogs leap to the tree, Tree Frogatha exclaims, Thank you! Hop, 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 hop! The end. Thanks for listening. Pepper Peacock says bye, bye for now.